What is Osterin? In the aftermath of Ron Garcia's B sample results being revealed containing Osterin, many seem to argue and are confused as to what it is, and why is Ryan Garcia basically being chastised for testing positive? So what is Osterin? Well, before anything else, let me just say that this information is according to WebMD and is available online to the public. I would also like to clarify that I am not a nutritionist or a medical expert, although my immigrant parents would have been more prouder if I was. Again, I am simply providing information from WebMD. So according to WebMD, Osterin is a type of substance called a selective androgen receptor modulator, also known as SARM. It is not approved by the FDA, but is sometimes found in supplements. Osterin attaches to proteins in the body known as androgen receptors. And when Osterin binds to these receptors, it basically tells the muscles to grow. People use Osterin for athletic performance, involuntary weight loss due to illness, breast cancer, and many other conditions. But there is no good scientific evidence to support these uses. With this being said, while a closer examination doesn't confirm Garcia's intention to cheat, Many will read the description and immediately draw a connection to Garcia's failed efforts to make the 140 pound limit for the fight with Devin Haney. Osterin is also an investigational substance, therefore not approved for any use by the FDA. Despite this, however, it is still sometimes found in dietary supplements, especially those marketed for bodybuilding. Osterin, along with other SARMs, is banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency and the NCAA. One thing to note is that a fighter, especially one trying to make weight while maintaining muscle, strength, and stamina, might see advantages from taking Osterin. Ryan Garcia mentioned the supplement ashwagandha as the potential culprit in the failed drug test. However, there is still no direct evidence to this claim. With this being said, does this mean Ryan Garcia intentionally cheated? Well, no. Not necessarily. However, like all college and professional athletes, Garcia is mandatorily required to know what he takes into his system. It is Ryan Garcia and his team's responsibility to meticulously examine every substance being taken. As of right now, Ryan Garcia and his team must prove that the osterin that was found in his sample was indeed due to contamination from a third-party supplement. Proving such a thing, however, may be more difficult than his actual fight with Devin Haney. The rules with osterin is very complex because again, it is not approved by the FDA. Yet, it's still found in many over-the-counter supplements. While Osterin is technically not a steroid, its effects and functions are somewhat similar to what steroids do. So that's it. That's just a quick overview of what Osterin is. I hope this video answered some of your questions. Thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button for more quick talks.